Hey, what's up guys? Bad Music Production, how you all doing? Hope everyone's staying safe. Guys, today is pretty really exciting. I'm gonna be showing you guys Pigments 2 by Arteria. It's actually on a free download trial at the moment. You can download it from the link below in the more description. Um, it's on trial, I think, for like another 30 or 40 days, so it's brilliant. If you guys haven't already, make sure you download it, try it out, it's a crazy plugin. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys like some of the top sounds it comes with. Then we're gonna be looking at some of the features the VST plugin comes with, looking at the effects, uh, how the effects work, and then we'll also be looking at the like RP gate and all the other type of um, different effects you can do using the VST plugin. Really, really cool. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon, because if you don't, I'm gonna come and steal your studio money. <laughs> nah, but really, but you know what I mean. Come on, let's do this. Let's, let's look at this and uh, let's go straight into this. All right, so when we open it up, guys, there's loads of cool sounds in Pigments 2. Um, let's just have a look at some of the sounds first. So you can just click in here in the box at the top and you get loads of cool sounds. There's like the top kind of, you know, 100, well, more than 100. There's about 120 different sounds in here. Some really, really nice lo-fi kind of piano for your lo-fi type of beats. So really, really cool. Really nice sound. So yeah, really, really nice kind of West Coast type of sliding sound. Really, really cool. Oh, I love this sound. So you can see you can really make some really cool beats with that. And we only like on a temp sound and you can see the quality of the sound is just amazing. Really, really nice sound. And the good thing is they're giving this away as a free trial for like another 30 days. You can download it and use it like really really cool so that's really really nice of them to do that really really um recommend i would really recommend you guys download it and using a free trail really really cool um vst plugin to have really really nice sound oi who's feeling this who's feeling this sound guys Hey. Oh, that could be a sick beat already. I can already hear that. Like. Oh, mate. You can make endless type of melodies with that. Not too sure about that sound. Not really my cup of tea. Oh, hey. Type of sound Post Malone will use in some of his beats. So yeah, really, really cool kind of sound. It just doesn't stop, does it? Like the sounds just keep coming. Oh mate, this is crazy. This is like mix of Mario and all those like arcade kind of games into a sound. Check this out. Hey, who's feeling this?
Hey. <laughs> Just messing about. Pretty, really cool sound. Obviously, you'd have to kind of plan the way you use that, but you can make some really cool arcade kind of type of sound. Really, really cool. Oh, this is cool. Really, really nice. This is a really nice sound. Oh, that's really, really nice. Oh, guys. You can kind of feel that. Really, really nice sound. Hey, who's feeling this? Really, really nice sound. Really, really cool sound. This kind of really jazzy kind of strings. So you can kind of make a beat out of this. So you can kind of get the feel, you know, really, really cool kind of sound. <laughs> it's when you tell your kid to go back to school and he's like, no. <laughs> Sorry, just having a laugh. <coughs> so this is like Beethoven kind of piano sound, you know, really, really cool. Really, really nice. And we could be here for days going through all the sounds. We haven't even gone through the first slot yet. You can see we've got four different rows. So I think we're going to just leave it here. You know, loads of loads of cool sounds. Um, the actual let's have a look at some of the other cool thing features on here you you at the bottom here you've got the envelopes so you've got the attack the way the sound comes in and leaves really cool and then the way the um you can control the sound like the attack the dk the sustain and you can kind of follow this little arrow and see how your sound is so if we take this up you can see it starts off really nice and slow and then it gets kind of see that so you can kind of follow this little circle you can call it shows you where your sound is and you can play with the tune so the attack curve and the, and the descending curve and also you can play around with the curve on here on here if you wanted to you can make it really really you know like that and then you got four macros here at the end really cool macros um, every sound comes with macros so you can and every sound comes with different kind of macros Now let's say it sounds good but I want to add some reverb to it. So we would click here at the effect on the top. See that? And we get this come up. Now most of you be like, oh my god, what's going on? Um, 
you got three buses at the top, and the first bus has one, two, three. It has chorus, reverb, and compressor. Chorus is here, reverb, and compressor. You see that? So bus two's got none on it. So none, none, none. So let's say we go to the reverb on on the second one here. Okay, this is the reverb. And let's make make the reverb a bit bigger and make it a bit more wet. See that? We've got the compressor here, so change the attack and the release. So I'm just giving it a bit of power. I'm going to add a bit of distortion to it. So to add a bit of distortion, we click on a bus, we just select the none here, and we go down to distortion. See that? You can really play around with the sound. And uh, it's really cool because you can really control the settings. If you don't like that, you can just turn it off by clicking on this little um, blue button. And you can also change the um, effects just by clicking in here and just adding different effects. You can have up to nine different sound effects per uh, instrument. So like a bit crusher kind of sound. Pretty cool. And it also has like um, a stereo pan. So you can widen it out. This is really cool. And I'm going to add one more thing to this parametric EQ. I'm going to change the waveform out. Really cool because you can really play around. You can really play around with the sound. So let's say you can change this. You know, you can. The mids. Go to the second point. So you can control every point. So you've got the low, the low frequency, you know, the lows. You can control every point, or you can just click in there and control it by hand. Really simple. But if you're scared you're going to move anything, you can just simply click on this and just drag it up and down. Really, really cool. And you've got some pretty cool presets here at the side. So you can just click on a preset, click on brighter, and this will change it to brighter, uh, darker, you know, loudness which kills the mids and just ups the highs and the lows. Usually you go for brighter kind of sound on piano. Really, really cool now. That sounds really, really nice. So this is how we turned this low piano sound into that sound which I can't get back now <laughs> but I'm going to show you a sequence on here this has got like a sequencer button here at the top and you can kind of like arpigate the sound and just by clicking in here you can drag it up So. so we just moved the upy octave that's pretty cool you can play around with that and um, you know Apart from that, you can kind of go into a sequence and you can change the keys. So C, C, D, E. So you can really change the key of every note. So if you're making like a dance kind of track, you know, you can really play around with that. And obviously you can play around with different sounds. Every sound will have different kind of settings. So if we go in here, as you can see. So we go F, F, A, A.
And it's pretty cool because you can change the octave, the velocity, the volume. So you can take the volume down, down, you know. The gate length, really cool kind of sound. Check this out. You can't really hear it on this sound. Let's try a different sound. So l let me show you the gate length now. And you can kind of change the time, so I'm going to put 116 on this. Well, actually, let me try... Just leave it off for now, because it's sync with the beat. See that? So you can really play around with it. And, um, yeah, it's got loads of cool settings. The slide setting is really cool, because you can make it slide. change the key let's say see that you have to change the key to make it slide obviously you would use it in a different way than I'm using it <laughs> I'm just really quickly showing you so that's pretty much what there is to it you got every sound's got different macros you can change the sound and the frequencies and stuff now the cool thing about this is it's got loads of sounds look at this all the brass Bra bars, bra I can't even say it. brass, keys, leads, organs, pads, percussion, sequence, sound effects, strings, and yeah, it's just so so much. Really, really cool. So yeah. All right, guys. Just want to thank you for watching this, and uh, you got this far. Um, just want to yeah say that in a few days we'll have another video so make sure you stay tuned if you haven't already make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon we've got loads of great VST plugins free drum kits we'll have loads more you know information for music production a free FL studio project and just tons and tons of free giveaways and stuff and yeah apart from that stay safe and I'll see you guys soon peace out